Cactus, good morning. How are you? I'm just uh, setting up a few things here, and then I'll be right with you. Are you ready? How's your uh, Sunday been so far? Or your weekend, for that matter? Hopefully, it's been a good one. Try a different playlist today as well and see if it works. I don't know what kind of music this would be. We'll find out. It's been a quite a good Sunday. I'm so happy to hear that. I've had that myself actually today. Let me just fix the audio levels here. There we go, right? And hey! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I've had a, a good Sunday myself, actually. I, I woke up, I had coffee. I've been, you know, spending 10 minutes outside in the sun. It's a good Sunday for me. I like it. You know, it's actually sunny today. Which I like. What have you, uh, what have you been up to this weekend, then? Hopefully a lot of fun stuff. Hopefully. All right, I think I'm more or less set up for everything now. Do you want to play some streaks? I want to play some streaks. Streaks are fun. I like them. I want to do more of them. I, I for some reason, never tire of them. It's great. It's great. I'm gonna click this, and we'll see how far we can take this. Warm up round first, right? Okay, I immediately see this. There's uh, autumnal coverage, flatland. Then again, I, f I feel like I learned the thing yesterday, right? <laughs> this is gonna be Hungary or Bulgaria in my mind. Normally I would have gone Hungary because it looks flat to me, but now I could kind of see these hills in the distance. I feel like people told me yesterday that you wouldn't even see that in Hungary. But I like Hungary. I wouldn't go Hungary. Kind of depends though. We'll, we'll see what you go with, uh, Cactus. Maybe I'll switch it up and, and join you wherever you end up on the on the leaderboard if you want to make a guess. Um, we do have the sun over there to our south, which I don't know if you needed that, but it's, you know, it's there. Uh, definitely a little bit of snow. Anything else? Nothing on the car. Well, you... A little bit of an antenna. Right there. A little bit of an antenna. I mean, it's average size, but still. But still. Alright, you went hungry as well. Let's see if we're right. I hope we are. It'll be such a good start to the day. I don't know the uh, topography of Hungary. I just have a feeling like this is the flattest part. Maybe. Here we go. Oh, it's Bulgaria. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't know how we were supposed to figure that out. But, all right. Fine. Not even a problem. We could start a new streak. That's fine. Let's do one more. That was the warmer brand, though. From now on, I'm going to take this super seriously. And I immediately see where this is. I don't know if you want me to say out loud. Or if you want, you know, to have the opportunity to try yourself. So I'll just wait... Uh, I won't tell you yet. But we have these absolute Chad ballers right here. A little bit of a headband as well. Got the tan going with the yellow face right there. Uh, and a little bit of language right there. What do you think this is? I think I know. I definitely think I know. These are some cool ballers. You know? I should run the timer just in case, right? Just get into the swing of that. Hey, Pico, good morning. Happy Sunday morning. How are you, dude? Hopefully you're well. 
getting back into the swing of things, playing a little bit of Geogaster there as well. Going for uh, Belgium, all right, I can see that. I think you might not be entirely correct, but we'll see. I can let you know at the uh, at the end of this what I think this is going to be. But I mean, you have had some time off, right? Which is entirely understandable. It is pretty. You're doing good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm super glad to hear that. What have you been up to this uh, this weekend? Like yesterday and stuff. Hopefully something cool. <laughs> because you're blind. Oh shoot. Well, you know, you know now, don't you? You know now that Chad Bollard is back. Bullying us. Completely. A minute remaining in this round. We got a little bit of language right there again. Um, at least to me, the uh, the Bollard is going to be the main, you know, telling point of this one. But I mean, this was the warm-up round anyway, right? So we're allowed to make mistakes early. I mean, I've already technically had the warm-up round. But we sometimes do several, so it's fine. All right, half a minute remaining. Uh, I might as well spoil the surprise. I think this is going to end up being Denmark. With the, uh, with these very specific looking ballers. They are cool. I don't know why they went so over the top with several reflectors and everything, but it's cool. I appreciate it. Guess quickly. I can do that. Sure. Let's go with, uh, right there. Actually, that's a national park. Boom. There we go. There we go. That is how it's done. I mean, wrong side of the country, but still. Cactus got the closest there at 152. Myself at 171. And Pico at 670. New round. Yeah, we might as well not run the uh, the timer for a bit then. It's fine. Once we have enough people. Is that a watermelon on the back of that bike? Absolute sirs. And a piece of broccoli? I, mm, you've been shopping? Maybe. Um. Well, we got our other ones here. You wish that guy was your grandpa? That'd be cool. Hey, Rob, how are you, dude? Welcome back. Hope you've been well. This is cool. I like this location. I have no idea where we are. But I like it. I might have to use the scoreboard meta on this one. Let's see if I can find the sun, though. Shadow slightly leaning that way, so... North? It's north of us. That's gonna put us in the southern hemisphere, probably. But we're driving on the right-hand side of the road, right? So, probably not South Africa? I feel like that leads us in South America somewhere. That doesn't feel right. You know? Ooh, wait. Ooh, I've forgotten this one. We've got we've got a little bit of a, a wing mirror right there. I can't remember exactly where you find those, but Pico going with Brazil. That could absolutely check out. Oh, but it could. I wish I had some signs to go off of. No move is a lot harder. It's a lot harder. Huh. I'll give you guys a couple more seconds to uh, to make a guess here. I don't know how long, but, you know, a few seconds. All right, Rob going for Chile. I could see that as well. I would I would be expecting the white car, but this is, uh, actually, is this even Gen 4? I think this might be Gen 3 coverage. Yeah, it is. Looks like it anyway. All right, we have a good spread right here. Got Chile, Paraguay, and uh, Brazil. Okay, so it's up to me then. Oh no. I mean, it's not really up to me, but. Because if you're right, your streaks keep going, even though mine might not. I'm gonna go. Hmm. I would agree with Brazil, but it's slightly not red enough. I can't remember this one. That piece of mirror right there. Uh, the landscape kind of does look African, though, doesn't it? A little bit. Trees like this. Uh, maybe not. I'll, just, I'll go Chile as well. I like Chile. 
will be pretty far to the middle. Right there. Let's see. <laughs> Still here, guess. Well, we'll see. I mean... I do like this though. I do like it. Let's see. Hey, Jay, coming back there as well. I'll give you a couple of seconds to throw your guess in there as well if you want. We have the sun to our north. Uh, people are driving on the right-hand side of the road with the watermelon and probably a piece of broccoli or something. Um, that's it. We have this slight tip of a mirror. Wait, where'd it go? There. Right there. Which I don't remember where that is. But it might be somewhere. Who knows? Who knows? I certainly don't. I'll give you like five more seconds to throw a guess in there if you want it. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'll throw my guess in there as well. Oh, your thing is glitched. Oh no. Have you tried uh, refreshing it maybe? That seems to solve a lot of the problems with, uh, because there, there have been some issues with the back end thing of, uh, of uh, GeoChatter as well. Most of them that I've seen so far have been helped by just a simple refresh, but... Oh, it's fixed now. Nice. Hey, Hagami, how are you, dude? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. We're doing a little bit of GeoChatter again today. Some more country streaks, because I really love the, um, the way that country streaks work specifically in GeoChatter. But we can do distance and uh, country streaks, which is really... A fun way for everyone to be able to do good, you know, because some people just like getting the country right, others want to go for the uh, the 5Ks and everything, and now you can do both, which is cool. All right, I'm gonna send it in about five seconds now. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Damn it! It was Colombia. Wait, I thought the plates were yellow, even for bikes in Colombia. Let me click this one and double check the plates here. Oh, there are no plates. That's why. Got it. You guys are being illegal. That's not okay. All right, that was the warmer brand, though. We can launch another one. Hey, Goth Rush. Good morning. How are you? Hope you're doing well. It's Sunday morning. It's a good Sunday morning, too. Oh, that's where you get Romania. Yeah, I get that. I absolutely get that. This is the proper one. I'm starting the uh, the uh, the countdowns now because we we do have a few more people in. <laughs> that guy is carrying energy melon. Absolutely, I like it. All right, this looks beautiful. For some reason, I'm looking for rifts. I don't quite know why, but I am. Uh, we got the sun to ourselves. So that's gonna, you know, eliminate like half the globe, which is pretty cool. Is that a castle? <gasps> that might be a castle. I like it. I like it. How am I? I'm great. Absolutely great. It's been a good weekend. It's been a busy weekend for sure. But busy can be good. Busy can definitely be good. Like yesterday, I... I was non-stop from the time that I woke up until the time that I just basically passed out on the couch. I was uh, going non-stop, doing a bunch of different things. It was fun. It was fun. I'm either way innocently or low-key supporting drugs. That's fine. You know, drugs don't have to be bad. Some drugs help people. You know, if you've got pain, all of that. Caffeine's a drug. I had coffee this morning. It's fine. Hugging me coming in with the US guess. I guess I could see that. The only thing that's sort of freaking me out a bit is this. That's probably... Oh, actually, now that I think about it, it might not even be a castle. It could just be a house. You know? You could still be right. Some of this kind of makes me think of... Um, Balkan. A little bit. But I'm not, by no means decided yet. We'll see. There are some ruins, though. They do look ruinous. Is that a... Um, is that a... Uh, that's not a word, is it? It is now. It's fine. 
It is fine. All right, time is technically up, though, so I'm going to have to throw my guess in there. I have nothing to base this on. Not a single piece of language. Um, it's a problem. And the leader, even the scoreboard matter. The, the, not a single country, you know, replicated here. That is interesting, though. We got the US, Italy, Greece, Spain, Mexico. We do have two UK guesses. I guess that you know, helps a little bit. Do I go with the majority then? I do like my Balkan guess though. Runa says the word, hell yeah. Nice, look at me. I mean, it probably isn't right in context, but you know, <laughs> the majority, the majority is the UK right now. They have two guesses in, which none of the other ones have more than one guess per country. So technically a majority right there. Not a major majority, but it's a minor majority, which is, you know, something. The UK, there are loads of castles. True. True. Guess Albania for you, Hagami. All right, I can do that. I actually have no idea either way. And I had the feeling of this maybe being uh, Balkan, so I could actually go uh, Albania. I'm going to go coastline Albania, though, because I know we, d we don't have any rift right right? And Albania usually has a rift, except on the coast. And I have a slight feeling that that's probably the, the sea that we could see over there. Uh, I'm going to go right here. Wait. No, this is not near a major city. Right here. That's the actual ocean. Right there. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. I'm going to send this one. We'll see if I'm right. Ah, oh, damn it. It was Italy. Pico and Rob both got it, though. The uh, streaks will carry on over once I relaunch the rounds. Well done. A distance of 75 kilometers for Pico and Rob coming up with 696 kilometers. Well done, guys. We got Skim in third place with a Spain guess at 886 in a third place. We got myself, Gothrosh, Cactus. Uh, sensational coming back as well. How are you, dude? We got Bishop in there. Uh, we got Hagami and Jay. If I could do this, I can actually see all of your names. Bishop going for a random guest landing in Russia. Not too bad. Not too shabby right there. Do you guys want to do one more? I definitely do. Don't even know why I asked. We just started. Let's do one more. Johnny, hey dude. Good morning, good morning. You're doing good, Sim. I'm glad to hear that. It's a good Sunday morning. I love it. Some Sunday mornings aren't that good. Sometimes you wake up and you're tired and you don't have energy. All of that. Today is not that day. Today's a good day. I love this day. This is my Sunday. It's your Sunday too. Do you want to share a Sunday with me, chat? That's technically what we're doing right now. It's fine. Um. Okay, I already started zooming in on the details. I should do a 360 for you. Gave you 720 right there. Where was it? It was Sardinia in uh, in uh, Italy, right? The previous one? Out here? I think that that's what it was. Let's put myself in the Atlantic Ocean for now. Uh, just remind me to change my guess up whenever it's time to actually make a guess. Can I zoom in on the flag? Wait, there was a flag? Did I miss a flag? Oh, there's a flag. There is a flag! There we go, and this is a, um, I might be mistaken, but this is a uh, regional flag, right? I don't know where, like which region, but I have a feeling we'll be in here. Probably Malaysia, right? Oh, the scoreboard definitely supports that. All right, everyone's going Malaysia right now. Nice. Does that mean that, that yeah, we have the double segmented plate right here as well? Yo, Crux coming in with the follow there. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. How are you? Hope you're doing well. It's a good Sunday. Oh, yeah, we have these as well. Zebra stripe signposts. That's going to be mainland Malaysia, right? Malaysia. All right. Time is running out. Five more seconds on the clock. Get your guesses in now if you haven't already. It's the Johor flag. I know where Johor is. It's down here. Technically, I shouldn't be using your guys' information, but since 
Johor is the only region that I know in Malaysia, technically. I'm gonna do it anyway. Put myself out here. I don't know why I always do extreme outskirts of cities. But I like extreme outskirts of cities. So I'll put myself right there. Don't they have zebra stripes in Borneo as well? I didn't think so, but they might. It's my understanding that it's mainly mainland, but I could definitely be wrong about that. You know? Megaju, hey dude, good morning, how are ya? I hope you're well. How has your guys' weekend been so far? Let's send this one and see if we can make it even better. Here we go. They have zebra stripes in Africa as well? Yeah. But mainly that's uh, Botswana and then they're yellow and black, right? Here we go, sending this one. And Amsterdam has white and black zebra stripes as well. Oh yeah, they have those in the funny dogs. True, I forgot about that. <laughs> there we go. It was indeed the Johor region. Well done. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna share some of the uh, the glory with this first place position of mine right here, uh, because I guess some some of you guys probably helped me a little bit right there. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And Peru, you're right. Myself, first place, 10.5 kilometer distance. Pico in a strong second, though. Streak of two, currently sharing that honor with Rob, the highest streak of the channel right now. Well done. 10.6 for Pico. Let's see, are we close? We're right there. Well done. We got uh, Hagami in third at 44.8. Then we got Jay up there as well. Cactus, Skim, Rob, Gothrush, Crux, Johnny, Sim, and Megaju. Well done. Well done, well done. All right, round number two is coming up. Two more minutes on the clock. Do your best. Here we go. It's a little bit too much energy for me in the morning, but it's fine. I like it. All right, we start out with actually 360. There you go. Nice and easy 360. We got the sun to our... Northwest-ish? Uh, do I agree with that? I might not. We'll see. We'll look around a bit first. Uh, we've got these super beautiful, colorful trash bins. Uh, Bennett Road and Morse Head. South Granville. I, 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 I've got a feeling the position of the sun is probably correct-ish, if you get my meaning. We'll see, though. It looks oceanic. Yeah, it kind of does, right? I would expect the sun to be in a more northern position. Uh, but I think it could definitely be right. Let's see, we've got Skim and Crux going there. We've got less than 50 seconds remaining in this round. I'm guessing we have some people scrambling right now to try and find the, uh, the, the uh, street names. Remember, we do don't Google. Remember, do not Google. But there's a lot of ways to tell which area you are within this country based off of a bunch of different metas. So a, um, a 5k would not be out of the question here. Let's see if you can make it, though, in 20 seconds remaining. It looks more like Canada. It definitely kind of does. Like, I was thinking North America for the longest time. Basically, until I saw the uh, colorful bins. To me, that's going to put us in Australia. But, we'll see. We will see. You know? Since going for the U uh, the US play there as well, that's not a bad idea. Like, because of the position of the sun, right? That's kind of what's screwing with me right now. If Sim ends up being right here. That could be huge. And it's happened before. It's happened like two or three times before. Can I check the side of the steering wheel? <gasps> I forgot to do that. Yep, it's on the right hand side of the, the car. Ooh, this is big. I'm gonna throw my gas in there and then we're gonna send it. I feel like every single time I see colorful bins like that, I go Sydney. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. The plates help a ton. I don't actually know the plates matter for Australia. 
But I guess it's time to learn. Here we go. We're sending it. And now I'm just waiting for a break in the music. Hopefully the song doesn't end. That would be extra awkward. Where's the drop? When? Damn it. I'm sending it now. There we go. I ruined it. It's fine. Johnny in first place position right there. Streak of two now at a distance of 9.1 kilometers. Well done. We got Crux in a strong second, 13.9. We got Jay in third at 14.6. Myself in fourth. We got Mega Jew up there as well. Pico, Rob, Cactus, Skim, Gothrush, Hagami, and Sensational. Well done, everybody. Yellow plates are New South Wales. I forgot about that. I maybe I knew. Maybe I kinda knew subconsciously that could happen. Round number three though. We'll see how this shakes out. Now you see the damn granville. Damn it. It's too late now, my friend. It's too late now. Here we go. Round number four three. And we start okay, we immediately start out with this. For those of you who play quite a bit of GeoGuessr, that's going to be a big help. Um, the 360. We got the sun to our north. Pretty extreme north. And we've got these very specific looking uh, power poles right there. This might be an easy one. Well, we'll see. Not everyone knows the, uh, the bollard meta, but we do have a little bit of red soil going. That might help. Yeah, Jimmy coming in with the follow there as well. Thank you, my friend. Bim Jimmy. I like your name. How are you, dude? I have a feeling this one's going to be... Not on the easy side necessarily, but we do have quite a few people who played quite a bit of GeoGuessr in here, so... Maybe. We'll see how this shakes out. You're great. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, Legend Hyper as well with the follow. Thank you guys for showing up on this beautiful Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, at least on my end. What time is it where you guys are right now? What time is it? Do you know, time zones are weird, man. All right, again, we've got the sun to our north. We've got this beautiful bollard. Um, a little bit of red soil. And these power poles. Look pretty specific, if you ask me. I don't I don't know the regional differences. I I know one of them for this country. Okay, I guess the scoreboard is kinda giving it away. But so okay, so I'm pretty sure this is Australia, right? With ten seconds for many anyway. Um I know the one the uh, the power poles that you'll find down here somewhere. From this area. But these ones I'm not entirely sure. Pretty sure I'll get the country right, though. We'll see. Half an hour till noon. Nice. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Oh, yeah. It's half ten where you're at. All right. Nice. So you're, I'm a little bit ahead of you, then. I like it. I like it. All right. Time is up. I'm going to throw my guests in there as well. Where am I going to plonk this? Uh, in between Sydney and Brisbane, probably, right? Probably. On a smaller road, though. This is, doesn't look like a major road, this. This one. That's a good road. That's a good road right there. It's 11.30? Hell yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Well done. All right, let's throw this guess in there and see if I'm right. Don't steal my guess now. <laughs> Here we go. Damn it. <laughs> Every single time I get the wrong end of the country. But I got the country. I did get the country. I'm pretty happy with that. Everyone did, actually. Well done. Every single person got the country right on this one. Uh, if I do this, we can see all of your beautiful faces over here. All right. Pico is going to be the closest one with a streak of four now. Uh, again, along with Rob, the highest streak of the channel for now. The distance was 2073 kilometers. Gothrush in second at 2085. We got Funky Staff coming in with a guest as well. Hey, dude, how are you? Welcome. Uh, at 2169. Uh, then we got Skim in uh, fourth. We got Crocs up there as well. Jay. We got Jimmy. Rob. Megaju. Uh, Hagimi. We got Sim. Johnny. Myself. And Cactus. A good spread across the country, though. 
Is there anything to um, sort of give away the region there? Actually, no one got Perth or West Coast at all. So I guess that was a slightly tricky one. Oh, the brown soil, you're right. You're right. You're right. Do you want to get hit? Uh, do you want to? Do you want to move it on over to round number four? I, there's a lot of oh, a lot of you guys got hit by ads. All right, I'll give it a like a half a minute. Uh, that was well done though. All the streaks are building now. Wait, which one is this? Christmas Island. I didn't even know the uh, the location. That's a clever guess, actually. Imagine, imagine if it were Christmas Island. Hell yeah! Oh, you're back. All right, let's send it on into round number four here we go two minutes on the clock i mean i'll give you some that's not cr the christmas island car oh there is a christmas island car i have never even seen that one i think so i don't i don't know the matters is your hood yeah your hood isn't quite aligned there sir and or madam um should probably get that looked into got some um graffiti doesn't really help out that much. Got the IELA right there. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it says I E L A. I think. I know that's a matter for some of you guys, so. Based on the IELA, you know the country. I think I do as well. I seem to remember that there's a difference between. Aye la with an A and uh, the the E ending at the end there as well. Uh to tell a couple countries apart. Also looking for blue tags and I'm I'm expecting them to be there, but it's kinda hard to tell with blue cars like this, damn it. Um We do have a uh, average sized antenna at the back. Anything else though? Not really. Got a lot of people going for Latvia right now. You do agree with me that that's SIA, right? Let me zoom in on it for you. Super zoom coming in. I'm sorry to do this to you this early in the morning, but hey, how are you? Looks like IALA to me. That definitely looks like an A, right? Kind of does. You tried random guesses, Kim? Hell yeah, you landed in Russia. You might not be that far off then. That's going to be interesting to see. Kind of depends on where it drops you, but... I have a feeling we're over here somewhere as well. I was wondering like Czechia or Slovakia there for a minute too, but we'll see. We will see. You know, time is technically up though. So it'll be time for me to throw my guess in there as well. Oh, they use Yulicha, true. But there is an A and E difference between the two of them, right? Or am I mistaken? I could definitely be mistaken, but I think there's a difference there between Czechia and Slovakia, uh, whether they end the word with an E or an A. But I can't remember which is which, so it's not really super useful. Yo, Mark, good morning, how are you, dude? Happy Sunday morning, actually. I hope it's been a good one. So far. Poland also uses Yulicza. All right, cool. A lot of them do, or a lot of you guys do, I guess. I'm gonna go uh, Baltic with this one. The majority is obviously going Latvia here, so I think... I mean, the clever guess would kind of be to take a chance on one of the other ones, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that. We're going outskirts Riga. Because we always go outskirts in this channel. Right there. Right there. That's a good one. All right, I'm going to send it. If you haven't got your guess in yet, now would be the time to do so. Here we go. I was right. Nice. Look at me. Teaching things. Hell yeah. Czechia uses Yulice. And Slovakia uses Yulice. The E and A ending is going to tell those two apart. It could be helpful. It could really be helpful. We need more metas to tell Czechia and Slovakia apart for sure. All right. Let's send this one. Here we go. It was Riga. And of course, but by extension, also Latvia. Johnny, first place position again with a streak of four now. 1.5 kilometer distance. Well done, dude. Well done. 
Crux is going to take second place, though, matching that streak of four. A distance of 3.9 kilometers right there. Jay in third. Again, with that streak of four, 6.8 kilometer distance. Myself in fourth, we got Hagami up there as well. Sim, Cactus, Gothrush, Megaju, Mark, Jimmy, Funky, uh, Kale, Kelbin, Kelbin, Kale. How are you, Kale? Welcome. Uh, we got Rob in there as well. A skim with the random guest. You could tell from the uh, the asterisk next next to their name. Heading out there in Russia. Let's see where. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Not the luckiest Russia plonk, I'd say, but, you know, it's not the worst. It's a swim. A little bit of a swim. That is, okay. I like it. I like it. Ayala is street in Latvian. In Lithuania, most of the time, you just have the G. And then you have the T -E in Estonia. True. I, I Hopefully, I'll get that, like, mushed into my brain at some point. It's got a stake at some point, right? It must have been the architecture, maybe. That's a cool location, though. I wonder what it looks like up here. You know, I wonder what's on this island right here. Do I want to know? Probably. Do I want to live there? A little bit. Round number five. Two more minutes. Here we go. All right. Let's start out with the 360 again, I guess. Uh, the first thing that I noticed was this. Wait, did the timer not... Is the timer broken? Oh, there we go. That's been less of a problem recently, but now it seems to be back. We've got a little bit of language, and the uh, the color at the bottom of that one is going to be a good uh, indication for you. Maybe. Maybe, though. Keep in mind, you will find that in other places as well. We've got a holy poly right here, painted white at the bottom. That's also going to be an indication. So for me, right now, it's about a 50-50 shot. Uh, I wish I could make out the plates in a little bit more detail. Because it's hard to tell if there's even a blue tag right here. I won't actually know for certain. But I'm... I'm yeah, I think I have a guess in mind. We'll see how the scoreboard shakes out, though. There is a holy poly. Yep, absolutely. And a thick boy holy poly at that. The red and white chevrons over here as well might be an indication for you. The one thing that kind of threw me for a loop there at the very beginning was the black sock. But, you know. Was the language actually legible? Not to my eyes anyway, but it might be for you. I'll, I'll do the thing again. So if you have small children in the room, now would be a good time to send them out for a minute. I am sorry right here just read that part okay just uh just focus on that part of the screen i'll sit here and cover my face for you uh yeah i don't think that's legible it's it's hard to see you see one word okay that's more than i saw great perfect all right 15 seconds remaining so now would be a good time to uh to get those guesses in if you have them now would be a good time We've got the sun up there as well to our south. Uh, there's a little bit more language there, but that's definitely not legible. Definitely not. You can't read what it says, but you think you can tell which language. All right, cool. But yeah, I mean, that helped. I'm glad that helped. The super zoom can be handy, you know? All right, time is up. It'll be my turn to throw my guess in there now. I'll match. I see a lot of you guys going for Romania. I think you're right. I was thinking Russia there for a hot minute because of the black sock. Uh, but the white painted bottom of trees, which you can see over here, as well as the thick holy poly also painted white at the bottom, uh, is going to tip me on over to the Romanian side. Don't know where. Probably not Bucharest. But a smaller city like this. That's probably a good guess. I like that guess. Here we go. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, right. Well, wrong end of the country, but still. Johnny again with a strong showing. Streak of 5 and a distance of 21.9. Sim is going to take second place there, building on that streak now at 3. 
uh, in a distance of 87 kilometers. Well done, Funky, in a strong third as well, 98.6 kilometers. Every single person in the top three has got a sub 100 kilometer guess. Well done. We got Jay up there as well, Gothrush. We got Crux, myself, Skim, Mega Ju, uh, Pico, Mark, Rob, and Hagmi. Well done, everybody. A little bit of a spread. Uh, and I, I kind of love those situations where you have a an outlier. Because if that turns out to be correct, that's always fun. We got a hydrate coming in from Jay. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, guys, if you haven't already, join me for a sip of water, all right? I know you were probably out partying yesterday. I know the kind of people you guys are, socializing, you know, having fun, all of that. It's a good time to uh, hydrate a little bit. In the morning, the morning after, you know. Cheers. This one's for you, uh, Jay. There you go. That's a good one there as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Parting, that was 20 years ago? Listen, it's never too late. I know you. I know you guys, you know? Cool guys like you. Probably out parting every day for all I know. Round number six, though. It's coming up. Two more minutes up there. There we go. This is beautiful. I like this. I mean, it doesn't look like we'll have a lot of matter to work off of, but it's, it's a nice location. I like it. Got some uh, vegetation is probably going to be helpful here, right? You think you know this one? That's cool. I have a feeling that I know the region, at least. But we'll see if I know the country. Probably not. That would take way too much money to keep up. Yeah. Not only money, but like energy levels. I don't even... I, I can't even remember the last time I was at a party. Yeah, I can. I mean, but before that, it's like a once a year kind of thing now. Because the restitution period is so long. It's so painful. Uh, and all of that. All right, you have the sun right up there as well. To our south. So let that guide your guess. We have an antenna or anything. Not even a trace of the car below us. All right. Better stay home and watch me. Yeah, true. That is a better way to spend your time, right? I would say so. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, where is this going to end up being, though? Mega Jew with the initial guess there. I could see your guess, too. Um, I still haven't decided if I'm, like, over here or over here. It's definitely one of the two. But, <laughs> you know. Uh, interesting. There you go, Pico. You've got the uh, you've got the thing figured out right there. I mean, we did see your your alcohol consumption chart, so obviously that's a thing that you're well on top of, you know, in a in a responsible manner, of course, the way that you should. Is it, is there a tractor meta? Tell me there's tractor meta. I need help. What about road lines meta? Road crack crack meta. That, that's a different thing. All right, time is technically up, though. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my guess right here, right now. So you have until the end of, uh, of my guess to make your own if you want your uh, streak to, uh, you know, survive. Which, difficult. I'm going to lean a little bit off of the scoreboard meta. We've got a couple Italy, a couple Greece, Andorra, Russia, Turkey. And I'm surprised, actually, that we don't have any sort of Mexico, uh, yeah, I feel like this could be Mexico. Is that only me? Apparently. Uh, I, I kind of like the Greece. I kind of like the Greece guesses. I'm going to join you guys for a Greece guess for a minute. Go right here. Right there. That's a good one. I like that one. Here we go. You're too old for that. You're saying if there's a well, there's a way through. But, you know, too much planning for me. Here we go. Let's see if I'm right. Damn it. It was Spain. It was... Nobody got it. GG's everybody. That was hard fought. We had a good spread across. 
uh, mainly centered on the uh, the Balkan region there as well as Italy. All right. Oh, I like the turkey guess. That's clever as well. Nicely done. See that the turkey is a wild card. Turkey is an absolute wild card. It did feel like turkey. It really did. I, yeah, I can see that one now. I completely forgot the turkey was the thing. Well done. The Endora guess is clever too. Imagine. Imagine if it were. Mark is going to be the closest one there. 321 kilometers. Jay in second at 1035. And Funky in third at 1116. Uh, we've got Skim up there as well. Pico, Megaju, Sim, Johnny, Hagami, myself, Crux, and Gothrush. Not a single one of us got the country right. But, GG's. Do you guys want to go for one more? I want to go for one. I mean, I can go for several more still, but depends on you guys. You know, if you guys don't want to, what's even the point? I very rarely sit here and play this by myself. I thought it was Greece to begin with. Yeah, it did feel Greek, didn't it? Like sunny, a little bit going off of the, uh, the vegetation is what did it for me. And the kind of sandy looking soil. It's a sunny location either way. Well done. All right. We're going to do one more. Uh, still doing, you know, two minute rounds and all that. If you guys want to join in, uh, all you need to do is put an exclamation mark GC in chat. That is GC as in GeoChatter. Nobody's perfect has been kind enough to let me play the beta. Uh, you can see the command up there in the middle of the screen and below me in the title. Um... You click that link it'll take you to a world map you sign in using your twitch account and just make a guess you know click on the map press your space bar that's it uh it's free and you don't have to install anything and we're playing country streaks so you only really have to get the country right <laughs> a streak of one yep that's it there you go all right pico wants to do rural no move pan or zoom i won't give you the until someone hits a streak of 10 but we'll do a round of it we'll do a round of it Absolutely, because that could take a while, and you know, but rural no pan no move no zoom sure. Is there a specific rural map you want to do? Rural world? Why is rural so hard to say? Let's do it, and we don't want to make it so hard that people don't you know want to join in. So we're we're doing the whole being kind to newbies thing as well. So we're gonna do a map redeem. Rural world, no move, no pan, no zoom. Nobody's got streaks going anyway, so it's a good time to try. Here we go. Still keeping it at a two minute round, though. I'm. You always say rural. Rural. Welcome to this rural world. Uh, <laughs> it's difficult. This is all we have. I can't move, I can't pan, I can't zoom. What do I do? I just sit back and relax? That's all I really can do. Johnny and Gothrush, both with the initial guesses, I think, pretty, uh, you know, same time. Johnny actually got it there, though. Gothrush going for the random guess, as you could tell by the asterisk. We got Pico coming in there, missing the country, but the distance is good. Interesting. I have a slight feeling about this one. 43.4 kilometers though that is well done Johnny how many uh, I might have asked you before but how many hours do you think you've got into uh, GeoGaster not in a making fun of you kind of way but more like I want to be that good I want to get to that level how many hours do I need to put in dance and sip coffee I could certainly have done one of those but I don't have coffee at hand I've already finished my coffee <sighs> too many oh well, I mean, yeah, that's a subjective answer, though. Megaju got it as well. Well done. All right. All right. Uh, time is slowly running out. We've got a little over half a minute remaining. Do you guys think two minutes is too long for these kinds of rounds? I could bump it down to a minute because I can't really do a whole lot here. Uh, there's no secrets hiding anywhere. Megaju at 33.1 kilometers. Well done. Nice. Nearly getting the 5k in a rural 
world no move ban or zoom map that is impressive tell me that was a random plonk or that you live in the area actually don't tell me if you live in the area because that would be doxing yourself and that is not a good thing to do got jay up there getting the country as well at 64 and a half well done it'll be my turn i'm gonna go uk right it feels uk to me it feels uk to me especially with the hedgerows and everything right there random plonk here we go <laughs> your house is near these bushes i i see you in there all right here we go oof i didn't get it i didn't get it but mega dude johnny and jay all did 33.1 kilometers for mega dude well done awesome we got Pico up there as well, Crux, myself, Mark, Funky, Gothrush, Sim, and Hagami. Well done all around. All right, let's do one more. Round number two. Two more minutes. Here we go. You played this game non-stop in 2021 and keeping it going into 2022. I like it. You know, because you know, I, want you, I, want, I want you to stick around, keep playing it with me. Perhaps, maybe? <laughs> Gothrush with the initial guess. Going for a random there as well. And probably not a bad guess there. The distance, 52.35. It'll still net you a few points. You know, that could pay off by the end of it. You never know. Where's the compass? Oh, god damn. It's all the way down there. It's pointed, you know, west-ish. We're looking west. I have no idea. Nothing to really comment on here as well. Um, I guess I could duck down to show you there's nothing hiding behind me. Yeah, I'll do that. You see, there was nothing behind me. So, I don't know what to focus in on here. Time is technically up, or I didn't... Did the timer not work again? Why? It should be. It's been working flawlessly for like three days in a row now. I think the time is up. It feels like it. Yeah, I'm gonna send it here. If you haven't sent your guess yet, now would be the time to do so. I'll give you like five seconds just in case the, uh, the timer didn't pop. It's, you know, difficult. So the one thing that I've got going for me here is the fact that we've got the sun to our south. I mean, you can tell the shadows right over here and you have the compass, right? <laughs> right down there. Um, right there. Now that's going to put us in the northern hemisphere. With this kind of a landscape, though. And a little bit of maybe snow? What is this? I'm racking my brain right now, can you tell? I'm going turkey. I like turkey. Northeastern turkey. A risky guess. But it's a guess. Here we go. Ooh, it was Kyrgyzstan. I would have been able to tell if I could move or pan or zoom. Well done, Pico got it. A distance of 76.5. So winter coverage near the lake, says uh, Johnny right there. Okay. How did you get the country based off of that at all? Johnny in second. Streak of two. Distance of 77.9. Mega June third. Again, with that streak of two there, 82.8 kilometers. And Crux also got the country at 322 kilometers. Well done. Got Jay up there as well, myself, Mark, Silent, Gothrush, Hagami, and Funky. Uh, do you prefer Funky or Steph? Because I can do both, you know? Either way is fine. Val, hey dude, how are you? Good morning. Good Sunday morning. Happy Sunday morning. Round number three, we're doing a little bit of uh, a map redeem right now. Doing a rural, 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 rural right now. Um, no move, pan or zoom. 
as an added challenge. Two minutes on the clock here. Good luck. There's the, uh, oh, there's the comp. Damn it. Eh, there's the compass again. That might have been easier right there. Yeah, no. Valk coming in and just immediately crushing this one. What? How? That took you like two seconds. You're too good at this, my friend. You're too good at this. Well done. Now you know. What am I missing? Probably something, right? We've got the sun directly, more or less, in our face to the south. Uh, so we're going to be in the northern hemisphere. It's pretty flat, but not like super flat. And we've got just a, just a little bit of, uh, you know, brush. And that's it. We got two people getting in so far. Pico absolutely nailed it at 2101. We got Valk in second at 2725. With about 50 seconds remaining, though, is anybody going to be able to beat Pico here? Take that top spot. We'll see. All right, Pico. Gotcha. That's a good, uh, that's a good strategy, team. Let's see. Half a minute remaining. Yo, Blue Skies, how are you, dude? We're doing a uh, couple of rounds of Rural World right now. No move, pan or zoom. Uh, it's an added challenge, and I'm absolutely failing it. This is so hard. Why does it gotta be this hard? I, I'm struggling here. I'm struggling here. Five seconds remaining. Ah. Uh, what? I mean. <sighs> Time is up. It'll definitely be Central Europe, right? Surely it's got to be Central Europe. It's going to be Hungary, Slovakia, or Czechia in my mind. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't know what that could be. I'm going to go right there. I'm going to go right there. We'll see if I'm right. Here we go. Think about this, says Johnny. All right. I'll, I'll take a little bit of a hint, sure. I'll take a little bit of a hint. Unless you're saving that hint until I'm done with this round, which would be, you know, less helpful. Missing the scoreboard meta? Hell yeah. I... Ooh, oh yeah, that's a good point. Ah, gotcha. All right, yeah, I think I know this one now. Going off of the scoreboard method, this is obviously going to end up being Luxembourg. Uh, <laughs> this is Russia, isn't it? Going off the distances. I mean, if you could be 4,200 kilometers away and still get the country right, it's got to be Russia. But I mean, I am honor bound not to change my guess after plonking it. Especially in rounds like this. So I'm going to stick with it. You know, thank you, Mark and Johnny and everyone for letting me know. But I'm honor bound. I'm honor bound. There we go. It was Russia. Well done, Crux, though. 1080 kilometers for the first place position. They're building on that streak now at two in a no move pan or zoom map. That is impressive. Pico, second place, 2101 uh, kilometers there. Van der Valk as well getting the country. 2725. Got Johnny up there as well. Hagami, Blue Skies, Steph. Myself, Mega Jew, Silent J. <gasps> Silent J. Wait, it's Silent Bob, isn't it? It's J and Silent Bob. It's close enough. We got Mark. We got Gothrush there as well with the random guess as well. Still points though. You know, slow and steady. We'll get there in the end. All right. Round number four. Here we go. Again, we're doing a couple of rounds of Rural Worlds. Uh, no move panels. This is beautiful. I would hang this on my pit on my wall as a picture if I could. I mean, I could technically just buy like a monitor uh, mount or something. I mean, I want to print this and hang it. We've got all white lines uh, covering the road right here. It's, there's so much movement in the picture too. I love it. Crux got it already. 473 kilometers right there. Well done. Streak of three in a rural world setting. Well done. 
What will I be eating for dinner? That's a good question. I haven't really decided yet. Which is kind of problematic because I... The shops are closed in Norway on Sundays. Uh, kind of depends on what I have lying around, I guess. Which would be... If the weather holds up. Right now it's sunny. Uh, so if the weather holds up, I might fire off the barbecue. We'll see. We'll see. What about you? What are you having for dinner? Give me some inspiration. I probably need it. All right, Jay. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a beautiful Sunday, right? You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. There's a straight meta. What am I... I mean... I'm not... I, I don't see it. What, what, all the white lines. All the white lines. And there's a lot of countries with a lot of white, white lines, though. Um, I don't actually see it here. Is this it? I don't see it. Not the lights, damn it. <laughs> the type of three. Is this autumnal coverage? It couldn't be. Surely that's not it. it. I mean, the trees are sort of turning golden. But still, damn it. Uh, <laughs> you know what? That's the only one that I kind of... Wait, are we low -cammed? Is that it? We might be low -cammed. It's hard for me to tell if I can't move to double check it, but... Might not be a good or a bad guess. Especially if I go off of the white line meta. Could this be Japan? Yeah, it could be. I'm gonna go with that. It's a risky guess. It's a gamble. Let's see if it pays off. Here we go. Time is up. Is this low cam? It might be. Wait, this could just as easily be Switzerland, couldn't it? It's fine. Here we go. It was Japan. That's how it's done. Hell yeah. I like that. I like that one. I did take a little bit of inspiration off a of chat right there. But I mean, all the other times I haven't. So it's fine to do it once in a blue moon. Crux absolutely crushed that one though. 473 kilometers. Well done. Falcon a strong second. 1028 kilometers. Myself taking third at 1355. We got Pico up there nailing the country as well at 1644. We got Jay there, Mark, Megaju, Silent, Steph, Blue Skies, Gothrush with the random guess again. This time in Sudan. Not a bad guess. We got Hagami Katu. I love your name, dude. How are you? Welcome. I love that name. We got Hagami in there as well. Uh, oh, yeah, I did the names again. Katu and Johnny missing out there with a guess of Portugal. It was indeed low cam, but you still got some points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Round number five, the fifth and final coming up. Two minutes starting right now. This is what we have. It's not much, but it's honest guessing. You know? Five is better than zero. You're absolutely right. That's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. Any amount of points. It'll, it'll accumulate, you know? It'll accumulate. Mark with the initial guess. Missing out, but not by much. Interesting. I think I know the region that we're in right now. We'll see if that checks out. It could be way off, though. But it's worth a shot. Following that gut feeling the way that I normally do. It doesn't always work for me, but it's all right. It's all right. What else do we have going, though? Not a lot. I could duck down again and show you there's nothing hiding behind me if you want. Let me do that for you. See, there's nothing there. Um, I mean, you do have the compass. Just pointing north right now. Got a little bit of a shadow over there. So, uh, you know. Wait. That kind of throws my guess off a little bit. I mean, it's hard to be super specific with a shadow all the way over there. By the time I get there, the sun could have moved. You know? Difficult. You're 50-50ing that one, Pico? I get it. I get it. 
Yo, or or orgy, orgy. I, did I get the name right? I feel like I did. Ganelling the country at 131. They're just overtaken by Pico at 98.8. A sub 100 kilometer guess in a Nomu Panorazoom rural world map. That is impressive, right? I see why you redeemed this one. This is your forte, isn't it? Well done. I'm hiding it sometimes. Yeah. The problem is I gotta set it such an extreme angle. If I, especially when it's this far down, it's normally all right in other modes because it's up here and it's kind of missing my shoulder by a bit. Um, but like, if I sit like this, I can't even see chat. I got the microphone arm and everything in the way. Uh, so yeah, I have to move a little bit from time to time and I'm gonna, especially with modes like this when the, the compass is all the way down here. Uh, but that's fine. I'll, I'll try to move out of, out of the way sometimes doing my best all right time is up though it's time for me to make a guess i'm gonna trust the uh the sun thing over here right if the sun is gonna be south of us that means that we're in the northern hemisphere so i'm gonna go Vulcan. and just because i like it we'll go montenegro right there right there here we go. Imagine if you could just move the compass. Can you though? Come. I mean, I could move it to up here, but I'd have to rework everything of my top bar, and I don't like that. You know? There's a fly on me. Get away. It's fine. Here we go. Sending it. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, what? Korea. I never would have gotten that. Well done, though. Pico, how'd you guys get this? Pico and, uh, and Orgy absolutely nailing that one. 98 kilometers for Pico. Orgy with 131 kilometers. Well done as well. Mark is going to be third place right here with a guess of uh, Indonesia at 4403 kilometers. Not bad, considering the amount of information we had. Uh, we got Steph up there as well. Blue Skies, Silent, Johnny, Valk, Megaju, myself, Crux, Gothrush, and Katu. Katu! I like it. <laughs> Pika whispered you the answer? Hell yeah. All right. Do you guys want to do one more? Or do you want to head on over to Country Streaks again? Completely up to you guys. Technically, a map redeem is for five rounds. So I, I feel like we should go back to Country Streaks. It's what's in the title. You know. That was cool, though. It was a split between South Europe and South Korea. All right. Hell yeah. Or do you want to do another rural? You know what? We're doing a poll. We never do polls. I, I We do polls. But we don't do polls often. So... So we're going to do this. Uh, all right. There we go. Yo, Cat 2 coming in with the follow. Thank you, my friend. I super appreciate that. I hope your Sunday is great. Just great. The poll is live. Cast your votes. Do you want to do another five rounds of rural no move panor zoom? Uh, or do you want to do some streaks again? Country streaks with chat. You still get to keep the leaderboard. We can still do distance. Uh, but it's a little bit more beginner-friendly. You know? You didn't get to play the full one. True. True. I mean, we, 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 we vary from time to time. It's fine. All right. The poll is slowly running out. Rural is actually running away with the, uh, the polls right now. All right. Sure. We'll see, though. Time is slowly running out here. Let's see where Pico streak ends in Rural. True! Poll is ending. And Rural is going to run away with the victory. We're doing five more rounds of Rural. God damn it. At least I get to work on my pronunciation of the word, of the word Rural. It's so difficult. Why? All right. Let's do five more rounds. If you guys want to join in. Wait, here's the uh, leaderboard for you while I do the whole spiel. Uh, if you guys want to join in, all you need to do is put an exclamation mark GC in chat. That is GC as in GeoChatter. You can see the uh, command up there in the middle of the screen, as well as down below me in the title. Uh, all you need to do is click that link. It'll take you to a world map. You click that. Uh, wait, no. You sign in using your Twitch account first. 
Then you click wherever you think you are, hit space, that's all it takes. You don't have to install anything, you don't have to pay to play. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And, I mean, I guess as you can see, by my guessing as well, you don't have to be great at the game. Just have fun with it, it's fine. Um, that's it. I mean, we're doing five two-minute rounds starting right now. Hey, Apple, how are you, dude? Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Good afternoon, probably, right? I don't know what time it is where you're from, but, you know, good morning or afternoon or even evening. You know, who am I to, you know, limit your good any time of the day? Angelos with the lurker tax. How are you, Angelos? Good morning as well. Hope you're doing well. How do you put a flag, Martin? Yeah, I feel like you maybe you might figured it out there, but if you want to do a flag for yourself, you could do exclamation mark flag and the name of the country that you want to, uh, to have there. Uh, you can also put exclamation mark flags, plural, and you get to see a list. Here we go, five rounds of a rural world starting right now. It's no move, no pan, no zoom. Oh, it's 12-12. All right, I can see that. It's about my time. I get it. Nice. How are you though, Angelos as well? It's Apple, everybody coming in. I love it. I love having you guys here, hanging out with me. It always makes my Sundays a lot better. Every day that I'm live though. But it's cool to hang out with you guys. No move, no pen, no zoom, no clue. You're right, Johnny. That's my experience. That's for goddamn sure. Ooh, I'm covering the compass again. It's right there. Right there's the compass. You know? You don't have a lot of defined shadow, but you have this. No move, no pan, no zoom, no points, no streaks. It just keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Dirtix, good morning, dude. How are you? Welcome back, my friend. We're doing a couple of rounds of Rural World. Uh, no move, pan, or zoom. Originally a map request, but we kind of want to see how big uh, Pico's streak is going to end up here. Because we're already at a streak of, what was it, four? We'll see at the end of this round. One point for Johnny. Well done. Hell yeah. One point is, uh, you know, respectable. It's a start. <laughs> no move, no pen, no zoom, no points, no streaks, no worries. There you go. Well done. All right. 20 seconds remaining. I'm going to strike out completely right here. I have no idea what this is. Pico keeps that streak alive right there, a distance of 200 kilometers away, streak of 5. Well on their way to the 5k, well done. Got Orgy in uh, second place, a streak of 2, the second one to get the country right. Well done. Any more takers though? Time is technically up, so you have until the end of my guess to make your own. Um, I don't really close out the guesses in rounds where I have no idea where I'm at. So don't listen to my guessing, all right? It's not gonna be good. You're, you're not gonna have a good time. Uh, we've got the sun over here though. That's probably gonna indicate that the sun would be like behind us to the left. So it's to the north of us, maybe. Would we be south of the equator with, not with vegetation like this, right? Nah, it's probably more, I have no idea. Oh no. You requested someone a map that, that they didn't play? I remember you did that with me once, Sturtex, but I did refund you the points. So, uh, unless that's happened several times. But I am, I am on top of my uh, point requests queue. I've never missed one yet. I have had to refund a couple, that's fine. You know, time-wise and everything. Uh, we're gonna be close to the equator, I'm pretty sure. Normally that would, to me, that would mean southern Mexico, but this definitely doesn't look like southern Mexico, does it? Couldn't be Southeast Asia. Ah, oh, I don't like this. I'm just gonna have to plonk it. You know what? Why not go with this one? You're coming for that beer here? Don't come for that beer here. Don't even do it. Don't even think about it. 
I almost had it. Damn it. So maybe over here then, right? I'm I'm gonna randomly plonk it. I, I honestly have no idea here. I'd love to know your thought process on this one though. Because I feel like I'm missing something vital. <gasps> Carol, no! <laughs> Alright. Do I do it before or after the random guess? I'll do it after. That way it can I can look at it as some sort of a punishment for getting this one wrong. Here we go. It was chilly? Wait. I never would have gotten that. I ended up in Australia. You know, why not? It would basically be the same. I still got two points. At least I beat Johnny, you know? That's my one goal in life. Generally doing better than Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well done, though. Pico with a streak of five distance of 200. Just exactly 200 right there. Well done. You measured that one out, didn't you? Got RG in second, also getting the country 377.2 kilometers. And Dirtex ending up in Ecuador. The uh, third place position right there. 3840 is going to be the uh, distance right there. We got Martin coming back as well. How are you, dude? Apple, Valk, Silent, myself, Johnny, uh, Staff there as well. Katu, Gothrush, Blue Skies, and Mark. Well done, everybody. I'm going to do the, the beard pluck thing. I could have spent some of that time trying to get my hand on one. Da what have I done to deserve this, Caro? I need to know. I Ow. Ow, that's going to be... Ow. Oh, it's going to be a painful one, this. I can already feel it. Nectric, how are you, dude? Welcome back. You, just in time. I'm just about to pluck a beard here. I, I don't know why, what I've done to deserve this, but... Let's see this. Wait. This one's for you, Caro. I guess. That's going to hurt. Click on my guess. I can do that. Let me do this first. Well, this one's gonna actually sting. It's like, it's right there. Oh! Mm -hmm. That was actually not that painful. It's painful for a minute. There you go. I'm gonna leave it on the side here for you to pick up later. There we go. I'll show you my guess now. Actually, a little bit itchy. There's my guess. Just the middle of the continent. Kinda. I guess that didn't shake out well for me. That's alright. <laughs> Reporter for self-harm. Don't even. Don't even try. It's my own face. I can do whatever I want to. That's not even true. Alright. About that being my own face, actually. That's not true. This is all like a Snapchat filter, you know? The, the beard is all fake. Uh, it's a Snapchat filter. Yo, Clint! Coming back. Good morning, dude. How are ya? We're doing a couple of rounds of uh, Rural World No Moo Panor Zoom right now. So if you want to join in, you know how to. Two minutes per round. At some point, you'll have me beardless? I think so. I mean, there is an actual reason why I've set a limit to how often uh, you get to do those. Kinda. All right, this one I think I might actually know. Unless I forgot. But I don't think so. It's mainly down to a couple different metas. But I could be wrong. Johnny wasn't, though. 212 kilometers. Well done. I will see. I won't say until the end of the round, though. You're terrible with rural? Yeah, same. Absolutely same. Well, we kind of wanted to see how far uh, Pico's streak... Oh, Pico, you missed out! No! 6205. Did that happen last round? Or did that happen now? I think it might have happened now. No! I'm sorry, no! If you redeem Plucka here, redeem, do you send it with a personalized letter? I send it by wind normally. I just throw it out the window and the wind will do the rest probably at some point. So one day, if you're, you know, if you're sitting outside eating a spaghetti, like the way you do, right? And all of a sudden you can feel just a coarse, dark beard hair in your food, in your mouth. You'll know that it's arrived. You're welcome. What else is around there? I have no idea. This is no move, pan, or zoom. This is all we get. This is literally all we get. I'm not allowed to move. Um... Yeah, it's difficult. It's super difficult. Johnny and Orgy, the only two people to get it right so far. Interesting. 
I know this power line thing is a thing, but I can't remember for sure where. I'm gonna take a chance. Time is up. What if he doesn't like spaghetti? Who doesn't like spaghetti? Chat. Do you like spaghetti? These are tough guesses. I'm going to Australia. I'm not sure if that's correct. But I think it might be Pico with Lurk Attacks. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. You don't like spaghetti, Valk? How come? How come? How come? It's delicious. I mean, not just straight up spaghetti. You can do stuff to it. Put stuff on it. You know? A little bit of Parmesan. It's good. I'm sending my guess now. Let's see if I'm right. I could be way off here. How did I get that wrong? I okay, I didn't know that one apparently. Senegal was the answer. Johnny and RG both knew the only two to actually get the country right here. 212 kilometers and 331 for RG. Well done. Valk in third place with a guess of Tunisia at 3190. That's not a bad guess either. We got Cat 2 in fourth place there. Silent as well. Blue Skies Pico. Unfortunately losing out the streak right there. Going for Botswana. I didn't even get the... <sighs> I'm way off. At least I wasn't alone. I'm happy to see that. Uh, let's see. We got Apple. We got Mark. Gothrush. Clink. Dirtix. Myself. Sim. And Steph. Well done everybody. Where are the rifts? I don't think they were. Were they visible? Let's see if I can... I can open this one, but it'll be difficult. Ah, maybe a little bit over there. It's kind of hard to see. Well done. Well done. <laughs> yeah, you're happy if you get the continent right? I didn't even. I didn't even do that. So well done. Round number three, though. Two more minutes on the clock. Here we go. Can we do a poll on how many people prefer pineapple on pizza? We could do that. We could do that. Under one condition, though. We don't let people know who voted for what. Because that's going to end up causing giant rifts in the community. It'll tear us apart. Probably end the channel as we know it. So it'll have to be an anonymous vote. You know? Because people definitely are split on the uh, topic of pineapple on pizza. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's all fake. I don't think it is. I don't think it is fake. You know, it's all I'll say though. A minute remaining in this round. Not a lot to go off of here. Well, a little bit. Actually, I have a little bit of a... I feel like I'll get the area right this time at least. Maybe not the country, but the area. It's okay, we have to filter out those pineapple lovers, Caro. No! No, we don't filter out anybody. Everybody's welcome. You know? You know? <laughs> Orgy is the first one to actually get this one. Well done. Yo, Nilu coming in with the follow. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Coming in with the follow at the back of... Tomcat. Tomcat, welcome. Hey, guys, welcome. Again with the massive raid in the morning. How are you, dude? How was stream? I saw you played a little bit of uh, GeoChatter today, right? Did you have fun? I hope you had fun. We are also doing a bit of GeoChatter, a couple of rounds of Rural World right now, no move, pan or zoom. So this is all we have. You know, it's difficult. I'm not great at this at all. Uh, but I hope you've had a cool, good stream. Happy Saturday morning, dude. And we're discussing the merits of pineapple on pizza. I don't know if I want to, you know, Reveal my thoughts about pineapple on pizza because it's gonna be divisive and people don't like that Vexy coming in with the follow. Thank you my friend. How are you? How are you? How are you? I gotta do the thing as well that I always forget to do but um, how, Why doesn't it work? 
if you guys haven't already, throw Tomcat a follow, all right? I've hung out there a little bit. Not that often, I'll be honest, because we overlap a little bit with uh, with stream times, right? Uh, but the little bit that I have been able to hang out, and I've, I've obviously seen Tomcat around a lot, throw them a follow. Great person, great guy. You're having fun today in GeoChatter and it ended with Hide and Seek World. I've never even done that. Is that fun? It sounds fun. That definitely sounds like fun. A little bit of hide and seek. On a Sunday? Nice. I, I have like written, I, I've taken notes about that one. I really want to get into and try that at some point. All uh, right, time is up on this one though. I'm going to go ahead and throw my guest in the ring. I don't know where this is. I have a feeling it's going to be Baltic. Just going off of the uh, the colors and the all of that. Why not Lithuania? Let's see if I'm right. There we go. It wasn't. It was Ireland. How? What? How? What? How? What? How? Crux got it at 40.4 kilometers. We got Orgy in second with a streak of four at 59.4 kilometers. Fast coming in with a strong guess there as well. Nailing the country 114 kilometers. How? What did I miss? There's nothing to indicate Ireland over here. Nothing. Cheaters. That's what you are. <laughs> it's a game where you hide in the street view and then everyone trying to guess where your location was. That's cool. I like that. Hide and seek world. We got to look into that. They went by accident or by the accent. Maybe, maybe. You never know. You have a little bit of influence right there. Uh, well done, though. We got Sam springing up fourth. Silent, Funky Staff as well. Pico, Mark, Senpai, Vexy, myself, Valk, Clink, and Katu. I love that name. It's fun. It's a fun name. Hell yeah. All right. Round number four. Another two minutes of no move. Panor Zoom. Rural World. I'm going to duck down so you can see that there's nothing hiding behind me. All right. In the interest of... Uh, fairness, I guess. You see, there's nothing. There's nothing down there. Um, when you play the game much, you, you start to recognize the looks of country. Yeah, I get that for some countries, actually. But never with Ireland like that. Or not, not that kind of a location. So that's interesting. That's cool. I absolutely didn't get that. This is a nice looking location though. Look at it. Got a little bit of stone structure thing going on down there. This power pole right here. The sun is up there too. Probably a little slightly to our north. Wait. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be. Hmm. You're between two countries in different continents. All right. But well, you do have a... Uh... Oop, there it is. A compass right there and a shadow going on over here. So you might be able to work it out. You know? Wait, did the... Oh, no, it is still counting. So we're about at about 40 seconds remaining in this round. Fiota, hey, dude, how are you? Good morning. Amir as well. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Well, I don't know if I've seen you here before, Piota. So welcome. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Coming in with the follow as well. Thank you, my friend. How is your Saturday or, and Sunday? Actually, all the entire weekend. Today is Sunday, though. Yeah. How's your Sunday been so far? But also, how's your weekend uh, as a whole been? Important questions. 10 seconds remaining. Uh, so if you haven't made a guess yet, now would be the time to do so. Um, I don't have a lot to go off of here. Wait, I feel like I just figured something out. All right, this is going to be a uh, Hail Mary. This is going to be a Hail Mary for me. Tomcat, thank you for the lurk there, my friend. I don't have the command thing set up, but I super appreciate the lurk. Uh, I hope that you'll have a beautiful Sunday. And thank you again for the raid coming in there. Coming in clutch. You know, it's you know I appreciate that. All right, no one's gotten the country yet. Let's see if I'm right, though. I'm going to go Mexico. No reason in particular. A little bit going off of the... Um, just the look of the place. Because why not? I feel like if I were to line up the sun and the shadows, it's probably going to be slightly equatorial looking. 
Let's go right. Oh, well, by the water, obviously. Right there. That's probably a good one. This is just UK or Ireland? Damn it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, you got your Gear and Geogaster subscription. Hell yeah, nice. Normally, like, we're playing a... I would say this is the... Uh, uh, among one of the most sort of difficult maps to play because we're playing it a rural world you can see it on the top hand top right hand side right so you don't you it's very limited in what you get to actually play with um and we're not even allowed to move or zoom or anything so normally we do play a little bit of country streaks so that you get to um you know work out a lot of those Metas, which we call them. Uh, there we go. What the hell? No shot. Okay. No one got it. And now I kind of see why. All right. Staff is going to be the closest one, though. 1949 kilometers. Uh, we got Milbrand in second at 2691. And Sim in third at 2846. Spread out uh, across the su southern tips of Europe. Well done. Cat2 bringing up fourth. We got Valk in there as well. Silent, myself, Faz, Senpai, Vexy, uh, Clink, Mark, Orgy, and Crux. Well done, everybody. Oh, you got an ad. I'm sorry, Fiota. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, no, we've, we've been playing the um, uh, A Rural World, it's called. It's a map where every location is set out in the middle of nowhere. Kind of like this. And we've set it so that I'm not able to move at all. Like I'm, I'm trying to drag, click and drag and all of that. So this might be one of the more difficult ways to learn. Especially that's that's how I find it anyway. Because you don't get... You're very sort of left up to chance whether you get uh, the position of the sun. Maybe some language. Uh, some, some plates to go off of. I find it a very difficult way to learn. Uh, but we normally play a lot of like country streaks and, and stuff like that where you get to look around and focus on the specifics per country. Which at least is a good way to segment uh, the things that you learn. This is not easy, it is not. Exactly. Exactly, it's not. Milbrand got it though, how? Actually, that's that's a little bit of information for me. Knowing that Milbrand has been focusing a lot on a specific country or region. Am I going to use that though? Would that be... Would that be unethical of me to use that information? Probably not, it's fine. Orgy also got it at 315 kilometers. What? Wait, what? Well done. You hate the rural part? Say same, absolutely. It's definitely the most difficult part. Did the timer run at all? Or, um, did it break? Because if it didn't, or if it did, time would be up now. Uh, so I'm going to make my guess. You have until the end of that for me to make my guess. You know now? Wait, what am I missing though? We've got all white lines. That doesn't really exclude all that many countries. Uh, a little bit of a truck going on over there. Some slight bits of vegetation and obviously the reddish kind of rock thing. I have a feeling we're going to be in south. Well, could it be Colombia. Okay, don't go hay in my ear. That's very distracting. I'm going to skip out the song. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. You want a jewel? Nah, I'm in the middle of something. But, you know, if you want to join in and play with us, that's completely fine. Let's see. Your guess is up there. Yeah, it is. There you go. This is a, um, this is a uh, third party kind of game thing, though, for, uh, it's called Geo, uh, Geo Chatter. It's a, uh, program that lets you see people's guesses and everything. It's got a lot of cool features to it, so that we can play together, which is a lot of fun. Um... I have no idea, but I have a feeling we're in this region. I don't trust the... I, you can see a little bit of sun up top. And I could probably figure out where that would be in relation. It's probably to the north of us, which would put us in the southern hemisphere. 
going off the type of rock and everything though, I have no idea. I'm gonna go Chile because of the all white lines. Argentina would have a yellow dividing line, right? So Chile is probably not a bad guess. Bolivia was the one that I was thinking about when I thought about Melbourne's guess though, but I'm gonna trust my own gut here. Because it's fun. Here we go. Right there, maybe. Right there. Here we go. Wait, slightly further inland because it's rocky. That's perfect. Right there. Pretty sure I'm going to 5k this one now. There's even a river. Look at that. This is perfect. Are you ready? Here we go. Damn it. God damn it. It checked out so well, too. It was northeastern Turkey. Nicely done, everybody. All right, well. Crux absolutely crushed that one. 212 kilometers away. Well done. I want to see. Ah, oh, there's no street view there. Damn it. Orgy, second place, though. 315. There's got to be street view there. Still not. How, what, how come? I want to I, I want to try to learn the different biomes. You know? Turkey, though. Insane amount of biomes. I love it. Uh, RG, with a guess of 315 kilometers. We got fast in third at 583. Milbrand also got it, though. Fourth place at 1,006 kilometers. Well done. We got Fiona with a strong guess in there as well. Funky stuff. We got Sim, Clink, myself, Mark, Valk, Senpai, Katu, and Silent. We're spread out. And at least I'm not the only one going for Chile. I'm happy to see that. Well done, everybody. You want Venezuela? Oh, okay, I can see that. There's no. I, I think there might be street view in Venezuela, but I, there's no country streaks thing in Venezuela, right? But it's not a bad guess. It is not a bad guess. All right, that was it. Let's have a look at the summary. And the winner is... Orgy! For ending up in a streak of one, you can see the guesses here, though. Got four out of five guesses right. Well done. The distance accumulated of 19,809 kilometers for a score of 16,728. In a no-move panor zoom rural world map, that is super impressive. We got Crux in second... 19,005 kilometers total missed out on a couple guesses early so that's based off of three guesses only score of 9,201 we got fast in third uh at 8,336 kilometers accumulated we got pico sims johnny steph milbrand silent mark vandervalk uh senpai vexi myself cat two let's see there's a couple more dirtix clink blue skies Apple, Gothrush, Martin, and Fiota. Keep in mind that not everyone was able to play every single round, so that's definitely gonna make a difference. Hell yeah. You only played three as well? Yeah, nicely done though, nicely done. Uh, we're gonna switch it on over to Country Streaks again. That was fun though, that was fun. I think uh, Pico ended up at a streak of, what was it in the end? S seven, was it? Something like that. Well done either way. All right, if you guys want to join in and play a little bit of Country Streaks with us, uh, I do a lot of Country Streaks these days as well because it's one of the most unique features of GeoChatter, right? That we're able to, ch to play Country Streaks and Distance at the same time, so it's the best of both worlds. Uh, if you want to join in, exclamation mark, GC in chat, you can see that in the top middle and in the title below me, right? Um, all you need to do is click that link, uh, sign in using your Twitch account, and uh, make your guess. It's as easy as that. You don't have to install anything, and it's completely free, uh, which, you know, it's great. Um, and we're playing Country Streak, so if the only thing you want to do is get the country right, that is completely fine. But if you want to go for distance, go for distance. It's great as well, you know? We're g I'm gonna add pan and zoom, though. But we're doing no move. We're running two minute rounds for however long it takes to get a respectable streak going. Here we go. Alright, we start out with this. We've got a fox transport, apparently. A little bit of language on it. 
Um, we have a black car, black grayish black, I'd say. Some interesting looking light posts. Never seen that before. And maybe one of my favorite metas in the middle of this picture right now. I'm not gonna call it out until the end of the round, but it is definitely one of my favorite metas for sure. Dragonblade coming in with the follow as well. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. How is your uh, Sunday so far or your weekend as a whole? I hope it's been a good one. Because I've had a good one. I feel like this should have been closed off. Maybe. Would probably be a good idea. All right, we got a lot of people coming in with guesses early. Well done. Uh, a slight... See, again, this is probably going to be the your best bet to figure this one out, if you know the meta. But in case you don't, let's look around some more. Let's see if I can find the sun. It's a little bit of shadow below the cars right there, but it's difficult to see. It is difficult to see. Look at the blue truck, absolutely. There you go, there's the blue truck. I found the blue truck. It's right here. Not a whole lot on it, though, but... Did I forget to run the timer again? Damn it. I'll go off of the times on this one. So, probably, like, 20 seconds-ish remaining. More or less. Got this over there as well. Everyone would know the country that you guessed. Yeah. Uh, not really a huge deal, as you'd think. I could remove it, but it's a lot... You know, kinder to the, the newbies who are looking to learn as well. Because it'll give you a little bit of an indication. Um, and I, we've had it happen like three or four times now that everyone has gone a single country. One person has gone like in a different direction and they've been correct. So it's not a big deal. It really isn't a big deal. You can still go for distance if you want to. Keep in mind the base of this is country streaks. And I don't know if any of you are correct. I have a good indication that you are. Because there's definitely a little bit of meta over here as well. Yeah, it's a more of a semi-cooperative game mode. You're absolutely right. And it's a little bit because if I get this wrong as well, we have to restart the round and everything. It's a... But this one I definitely know. You know. And I like it. I like it being as newbie friendly as possible while also giving some something for the people who, who know a lot about this. Which on the whole, definitely not an issue. All right, time is gonna be up here though. Uh, yeah, a couple extra seconds too. So if you haven't made your guess now, would be the time to do so. I'm gonna go Argentina, mainly because of the dot in the middle of the license plate. It's one of my favorite matters. I don't know why. I just like the way it looks. Um, it should be good enough. I have no idea where within the country, but we'll go like slightly outside of Buenos Aires. Why not? It's a nice area. It's a nice area for sure. Right there. Never trust trucks, you're right. You're right. There you go. Last look at it. Sending it right now. It was Argentina. I was wrong on the city, but the country was indeed correct. Uh, let's see, the closest one is going to be Katu! With a distance of 860 meters. Wait, what? That is super impressive right there. Well done! I feel like you can even see the trucks down there. I mean, I don't know where. But it's probably down there somewhere. No, it's a Cordoba area code. Nicely done. Hell yeah. Uh, well done. Mark in a strong second, though. It's 7.5 kilometers right here. We got Melbourne in third at 249. Uh, we got Fast, Crux, Orgy, uh, Fyoda, Apple... Myself, Johnny, Senpai, Valk, Tomcat with the random guess going for South Sudan. Uh, you can tell that it's random going off of the uh, asterisk next to the name there. Uh, we got Sim, Steph, and Clink. Well done, everybody. So that was basically the, the main sort of tip off for me is going to be the dot in the middle of the license plate. You've also got the black car. Uh, that's one of the earliest matters that I learned was that you had a black car mainly in Argentina and a white one in Chile. Um, yeah, those are the ones that I could think of right now anyway. Well done. 
all right round number two is coming up two more minutes starting right now i'll do a 360 to start for the uh for the 360 lovers out there we got a sign with a little bit of language on it it might help out am i from the uk no i'm from a little place called norway up here you know the frozen frozen desolate north i hate it <laughs> But that's where I'm. That's where I'm at. Got a historic church. Nice. You see some back plates. Absolutely. Uh, nope. Actually, no. You can see front plates. I think I know what you're referring to here, though. Do we have any back plates at all? I don't think we do. No one is presenting a back plate. It's a little bit of a problem. We have mountains, you're right about that. But it is cold. It's literally been raining like three months in a row. It's I haven't had a single day of summer yet. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I, I would give anything for a couple days of summer right now. House to the north. There you go. There is indeed a house to the north. Look at this. That's some cool... What do you even call this? I don't know what you call this. It is pretty, though. I like it. I like it. Half a minute remaining in this round. I really wish we could see some back plates, that's for sure. We do have a steering wheel, though. That might help you out. You know? You know? Yeah, we've got a lot of guesses in, and the scorecard scoreboard method might be... Uh, might be a good call with this one. The one thing, at least to me, that might indicate a different country would be the color of this sign, right? It kind of looks, to me, like the ones you'd find in Ireland as well. Huh. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Uh, and we don't even have a blue tag, do we? Now that I think about it. We don't have a blue tag on the license plates, do we? I feel like we should be able to see that right here. No other country really fits, though. The sun is directly east of us. No shot this is like, what? No way we're down here, right? No shot. I'm gonna go Ireland just because I like it. I don't know how you guys are mainly telling... Or how you could tell that this could be England, but... Or the UK, I guess. I, I guess I could see it, but I like being contrarian on this one. I'm gonna go right there. Let's see. Here we go. Damn it. All right. Well, you guys were right. Don't worry. Your streaks will live on. We'll restart it and your streaks will live on for sure. Just uh, double check. So, all right. It's fine. There we go. Um, Crux is going to be the closest one there. A streak of three and a distance of 73 kilometers. Well done. What was the uh, tip off on that one? Oh, the houses didn't look Irish. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, we got Apple in a strong second there, though. Wait, let me... Uh, there we go. Uh, at 106.2 kilometers. Well done as well. We got Melbourne then third at 106. Wait, are you guys basically on top of each other right here? I mean, you're not. Apple? Melbourne. Oh, okay. Got it. Just different opposite sides. Well done, though. We got Dave coming back as well. How are you, dude? Uh, in, fur, in, in fourth, actually. Fast there as well. Katu, Mark, Valk, Senpai, Johnny, Sim, uh, Steph, myself, Kanua. Hey, dude. Welcome, my friend. I don't recognize the names. I'm guessing you're new. Uh, if you're not, I'm sorry. I forgot your name, but welcome. Uh, we got Fyoda as well. Vaxi, Tomcat going for the random guess. Ending up in Gabon. 
And we have Silent as well there with also the random guests in the US. Where would that be? I mean, okay. US waters anyway, well done. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna restart my streak. Your streaks will still be fine, don't worry. Katu coming with the posture check and the uh, hydrate as well. I'll do that. I'll do that right now. Let's start the timer though. I can hydrate while I look around. All right. All right. I'm not going to say anything about this. I have no idea where this is. This could be a bunch of different countries. You don't know. Chat, have a uh, sip of water with me, all right? It's about that time. You know, it's Sunday. You were probably busy all of last night parting and living it up you never know so this one's for you katu katu there we go i love it i love that name all right cheers there we go just about halfway through the bottle on a sunday Afternoon, there we are. Sorry, I'll look, look around a little bit more. Uh, the main sort of matters right here is going to be probably the, the color uh, or the yellow dividing line, right? Got this, that one right there. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. We do have that one. We did have a guess yesterday where this one would have made sense. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. All right. <laughs> it's ill, Dave. You're, tr you're, you're right. No, it's not. It's little Dave. Dave told me yesterday, and I remember. At least I try to remember. You know? Anything else here, though? Not a whole lot. Nothing on the car or anything. Alright, time is technically up, though, so it'll be my turn to make a guess right here, right now. Um, I, we. This is interesting, though. See, this is what I mean, though, with the, uh, the scoreboard meta not really mattering all that much, because we're spread out. All of these countries, by, in and of themselves, make sense. Um... To me, this is a 50-50 between Norway and Finland. I, I can see all the uh, all the Can Canadian and US guesses as well. There's just something about the uh, the look of the place, right? The type of signs and everything. I'm gonna go Norway, but I'm keeping in mind that this could just as easily be Finland. And I know the uh, conventional wisdom is that the uh, unbroken outer line should equal Finland, but that's definitely not a reliable meta. Uh, it's a good indication, but it's not a good meta in and of itself. Because I could drive like five minutes in either direction where I live right now and show you an unbroken line. Uh, where is this going to be though? Probably pretty far... No, I was going to say pretty far north, but I think we're, we'd be in this region right here. Because why not? Right there. Right there. Let's see if I'm right. Actually right there. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that's done. All right. I'm going to take first place with this one. Distance of 80 kilometers uh, for the streak of one. We got Mark in second, though, building on that streak now at a streak of three in a, uh, at a distance of 100 kilometers. Well done as well. We got Fiota in third at 193. Uh, and then Silent in fourth place also got the country right at 328. Cat 2 is up there as well. We got Dave Kanua. Johnny, Milbrand, Apple, Valk, Gothrush, uh, Sim, Faz, Crux, and Sanpai. Well done, everybody. Like, I, I absolutely get the Finnish guesses, the Canadian guesses, and the US guesses. I feel like I had a little bit of a uh, home field advantage when it came to the, um, the uh, you know, surroundings and everything. But you went for the full meta? Yeah, it happens, right? It definitely happens. Well done, everybody, though. Round number two. Two more minutes on the clock here. But that's what I mean. That is exactly what I mean about the uh, the scoreboard thing here not really mattering, because that happens so often. Exactly that kind of thing happens all the time. So don't worry. Do not worry. 
Finland doesn't have yellow dashes like that. Only when it's not allowed to pass. And those will be white in the future as well. Oh, true, Gothrush. You, you mentioned that. That's going to take me a while to uh, remember. But it's definitely good information coming in from Gothrush right there. The fall meta, normally, or aut autumnal coverage, as I like to call it, is normally something you find, uh, I guess, Norway, Finland, as well as Hungary and Bulgaria. Uh, and some of those are more, you know, easily told apart than others, I guess. Oh, in the US as well. I didn't even know that one. Oh, there you go. All right. We do have some colored license plates right here. Um, red soil as well. I'm guessing this is a, uh, these are beautiful wooden signposts. I, I don't know if those are actual metas, but I guess they could be. Maybe. You know? But it's mostly unified yellow lines in Finland, not dashed like in those cases. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I mean, I, for the most part, I go with, like, if I see a yellow dividing line, it's going to be Norway, Finland, US, or Canada. Probably a few more that I can't even think of right now. But there's a couple. Dave coming in with the follow. Thank you, my friend. I super appreciate that. And welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Mark made a mistake there. Maybe. Let's see. Where would you end up? Oh, yeah. Now I can see that. We do have the yellow... Uh, plates right there. It's gonna be probably the biggest indication. I wish we had some language. That would definitely help out here. But time is up, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw my guess in there. You have until the end of my guess to make your guess. It's not a lot, but you had like two minutes before that as well. I just put myself right outside here, maybe, right? Right outside there, maybe. It's gonna be uh, an is Israeli guess for me, especially with the yellow plates. I'm not missing anything there, am I? I don't think so. And the landscape as well, right? Here we go. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, there we go. All the way up there, though. I've never seen coverage up there. That's cool. What is this? What is this, chat? I wonder. Sometimes I wonder. All right, we have Cat2 taking the lead on that one at 19.1 kilometers. Well done. Uh, we have silent over there in Palestine. I guess that I don't think there's a lot of coverage over there, right? Right? At least not that I know of. At least not in, in uh, country streaks. Uh, at 27.3 kilometers, though, a good second place position either way. We got fast in third uh, at 46.3. Well done. We got Valk up there as well. Dave, Senpai, Fyoda, myself, Crux, Apple. Johnny, Milbrand, Gothrush, Kanua. Uh, we got Tomcat with another random one in the US. Well, uh, and then we got Mark and Sim at the bottom. But still, good guesses. Well done. Country guesser going controversial. They do sometimes. They do. Sometimes they do. I'm not going to comment on it. You know? Here we go. Round number three. Starting right now. Two minutes and we start out with the 360 the way that we like to do it we have these frame things i think i know this one already got a little bit of birch over there as well i could see that one dave absolutely absolutely and we have these ones these are definitely going to be some 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 good meta for you the clothes hook looking thing right there what the hell are these poles? I'll tell you about them. Uh, to me, this is going to be Latvia. It looks to me like uh, chat agrees a lot as well there. Tom doesn't, though. Going for the random guess in the US again. Your random guess absolutely loves the US, it seems like. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. We have these A-frame looking things, right? That's definitely something you'll find all over the Baltics. Uh, but when they're wooden like this, like actual wooden poles... Uh, it's like nearly always Latvia. You will find a few um, exceptions for sure. 
But if you couple that with these clothesline or clothes hanger looking things up here, it's gonna be a good indication for Latvia. I could be wrong though. Could absolutely be wrong. So that's definitely happened before. <laughs> you know? The R, the exclamation mark R stands for rigged. <laughs> absolutely. That's how that works. It's a big country though, so statistically, you know, it's what you'll get sometimes. Alright, let's see. 15 seconds remaining. I don't know what else to zoom in on here. I don't want to zoom in on like graveyards and stuff like that. That feels kind of weird to me. Uh, but we do have houses in the distance, at least. Alright, time is up. It'll be my turn. I'm gonna stick with Latvia as well. Put myself right there, because why not? Smaller area. Nice looking area. Here we go. Just as the, t the uh, music ran out as well. Bad timing. That's fine. That's how that is done. We got fast in first place at 17.7. Gothrush bringing up second at 61. Johnny in third at 66.4 kilometers as well. Well done. Did the music stop? Let me double check that. Nope, it's still running. All right. Uh, what else do we have there? Senpai is in fourth. We got Mark Sim, uh, Dave Crux, Mel Brand as well, myself, Valk, Karuna, or K Kanua. Why did I suddenly stop being able to read your name out? Kanua and Tomcat in the US. I want to see where you ended up. And again, with the uh, water log guesses right there. Where is this though? Oh, it's Wake Island. Oh, look at that. Cool. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, Katu forgot to guess. No. No. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Well, you could rebuild the streaks anyway. It's fine. Round number four. Here we go. Two minutes. It's starting right now. We started out with this. Wait, actually, 360 first. Uh, and then we zoom in on this. This might be a slightly easier one if you've played a bit of uh, GeoGuessr, sure. Tomcat ending up in what the hell kind of flag is that? I've never even seen that flag. Oh, it's Brunei. Oh, look at that. That's a cool flag, though. Try to figure out the little detail, the red details in the middle, but I, I can't see it. We got Milbrand up there as well. Fast, Johnny, everybody piling in with guesses. Let's see who's going to end up at the top here. Wait, the timer still didn't start? Why? That should not be a problem anymore. Well, we'll use this one again. Uh, you'll have about a minute remaining here. Oh, you misclicked, Melbrand. All right, well, that happens. That definitely happens. It's going to be a good indication for people as well, knowing that it's probably pretty close to the uh, the country that Melbrand picked over there, you know? What else do we have, though? Yo, Silent going for the random guess, ending up in Bosnia. I love that flag. That is top three flags for me, absolutely. I absolutely love the flag of, uh, of Bosnia. You haven't slept much, Milman? Oh no. Is it the heat or just in general? I feel that pain. I know that pain all too well. See, we should have about 20 seconds remaining here. So if you haven't made your guess yet, now would be the time to do so. Because I, this will be quick. Pretty sure this will be a quick guess. I'm kind of surprised that not more people are going Netherlands with this one. Because these are some yellow plates back in front. But I guess this is a good indication. As well. Right? Right? Probably the heat. Yeah, true. Netherlands has different bollards, you're right. You're right, I guess you're right. I'm just surprised. That's how good you guys are. I'm gonna go Luxembourg. Right? I'm suddenly unsure, but yeah, it should be Luxembourg. Here we go. You're Dutch, you can tell the difference in a split second. Hell yeah, Dave, nice. I like it. I love that, when you get a feel for your own country. That's so cool. And it's a Gen 2, Gen 2 coverage as well. You can tell from the halo on the top here. And a little bit of a halo on the bottom. I like it. 
Those are Swiss, German, and Lux bollards. Fly and get away from me. Uh, yeah. And out of those three, this definitely fits with Luxembourg. Let's send this guest and find out. Here we go. The hill is too, too, too tall for Newton or for our Netherlands standards. True. You know, actually true. I love the Netherlands, though. I love it. Yo, Nat, good morning. How are you, dude? How are you, my friend? How's your week been? It's been busy, hasn't it? But I'm glad to have you back. Nice. All right, Vandervog absolutely crushed that one at 10.5 kilometers fast and a strong second at 11.6. And we've got Dave in third at 13.8. Well done. We've got myself in fourth. We've got Johnny in there as well. Crux, Senpai, Mark, Milbrand, Gothrush, Katu, Sim, Silent, Kanua. Uh, Why do I start fucking names up now? And Tomcat. Tomcat and Silent both with random guesses. Silent over there in Bosnia with a beautiful flag. Well done. Tomcat in Brunei, which I didn't even recognize the flag. That's cool though. That is cool. Well done. It's been a it's been a wild week, I guess, so right? Busy but a great experience. That's that's what you love to hear. I love to hear that. Well done. Round number five. Again, if you want to join in, all you need to do is put an exclamation mark GC in chat. We're lucky enough to be able to play the Geo Chatter beta uh, provided to us by the lovely Nobody's Perfect. Um, yeah, click the link, sign in using your Twitch account and just make a guess. It's as easy as that. You don't have to pay and you don't have to install anything. It's the best part. You went axe throwing with the family yesterday. That's cool. I've always wanted to try axe trying. Never done so, but I definitely have the space now that I think about it. I could I want to set up like a hay bale thing for both axe throwing and um bow and arrow and everything. It would be cool. I definitely have the space for it now. I could do so more or less freely out here. It's not a lot of people around. It's fine. All right, with this one we've got a couple of interesting looking uh vehicles. You know? Some slight green tints to the cars and we're driving on the right hand side of the road. It's gonna be a good indication for most, most, right? Set up an axe wall in your living room. I love that. I would love to do so. Oh, this is a mess. This actually gives me anxiety. That can't be safe at all. I need an electrician. That's not okay. I don't want to park underneath it. Any language matter? Not a lot. Got a little bit right here. A few words. Definitely not a lot though. Amazing cable management. Lovely cable management. What's wrong with you, Chad? None of those. Literally not a single one of those statements were true. You're lying. All of you are liars. Probably. I mean. <laughs> it looks scary. Imagine getting tangled up in this though. How do you get away with that? No shot that's safe. Not okay. I hate cables though. How can it be this difficult to get like wireless everything? I want wireless monitors, wireless electricity, all of it. And I want it now. Right now. You know? Imagine having to fix it if something breaks exactly. God. It would take a day and a half. At least. You know? Can you tell that I've never done a lot of work with electricity? Probably. All right, 10 seconds remaining before I make my guess. This one's gonna be fast. We do have a little bit of country matter right here, maybe. It says a Hawaiian right there, Aloha. And then we got the name of the same country right on the back of this uh, person's jacket right here. You know? The Canadian island of Hawaii. You know? It's a thing. <laughs> Time is up. I'm going to throw my guess in there and it'll be my turn. Canada or Hawaii? 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, no. I think this is going to end up being the Philippines. And as always, we go north of Manila. That's the only, it's the only thing I can ever do. It seems like. Here we go. It's the Canadian speaking part of the Philippines. <laughs> I love, 
<laughs> I love the idea of that. Can you imagine Filipino maple syrup? I love it. There we go. Nice. It was north of Manila. I'm not wrong. I was not wrong. Definitely north of Manila. Johnny was a little bit closer though. Now at a streak of four. The distance is good at 73.1 kilometers. Myself in second streak at five. I think that's the highest one on the channel right now. But you can you can catch up to me. Distances of 367 kilometers. Dave is bringing up third at 386. We got Faz, Gothrush, Crux, Milbrand, Valk, Senpai, Katu. Uh, we got Mark, Sim, Kanuna. Nailed it. Not even a single second of hesitation. We got Steph up there as well as Silent with the random guess landing in Poland. I was just about to say could have been, um, could have been Indonesia. Wouldn't have been the worst. Well done. Canadian mango sounds awesome. I want Canadian mango. Is that a thing? Hawaiian pizza is from Canada? Really? Oh, no wonder they, they're they so sorry all the time. At least now we know why. That's why. Right? Nah, I'm kidding. Hawaiian pizza is amazing. There we go. <laughs> Dave coming in with the pastor check. Thank you. I kind of caught myself that I will sit up and give you a little bit of a stretch. Oh, there we go. That's delicious. There we go. All right. Round number six is coming up. Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. All right. Two minutes. A uh, little bit of a 360 to open this round. We have got an average sized antenna. All right, you guys are still discussing. Okay, we're running a poll. We're running a poll. I'm doing that while I'm looking around. We've got some uh, license plates right there as well. A, uh, what even is this? Anyway, a uh, yellow dividing line. Wait, damn it, I screwed it up. I'm doing it quickly. Pineapple on pizza. Yes or no? The poll is live. Let me know. Let me know. This might actually shape the future of this channel, alright? Keep in mind when you cast your vote. You see the sun? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, uh, actually, wait. Oh yeah, it is. That, that's it right there. It's to our south. So let that infer your guess. Uh, or inform your guess. What do the polls look like? Where are they? Right there. They look kind of specific, but I don't recognize them. That's a slight issue for me. You know? The greatest debate ever will be solved right here, right now. I mean, depending on the uh, result of that poll, though, you might never see me again. So, uh, you know. Yeah, I actually don't mind either way, but I have a preference, but I don't mind either way. You know? Five seconds remaining in this round. We don't have a lot of guesses on the board, so now would be the time to throw your guess in there. This one's gonna be fast. The poll is up, and it looks like Pineapple on Pizza actually winning out by a massive margin. 67%. Well... I'll put the order in now, right? Now we know whenever we meet up to have that massive chat party. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna be pineapple on pizza. Like, all the way down. All the way down. All right. I'm gonna throw my guess in right now. You're never coming to the party. Crocs, please, come on. You can pick them off. You know, it's fine. Ooh, we have Nat coming in with a throwback. All right, it's only the second time ever. I'm gonna make my guess first though, and then I'm gonna do that for you. Uh, I'm gonna go Mexico. I think this fits with Mexico. Color of the soil, direction of travel, everything fits with Mexico here. Let's see if I'm right. 
Actually, I'm gonna send this guest after we do the throwback. It's better that way. All right, so the throwback, the way the throwback works uh, is that I reveal a picture, random, more or less random picture anyway, from my camera roll. Uh, if I can remember a story about it, I'll tell that one, but I, I, I mean, that's a 50 50 shot, honestly. Worst case scenario, you get a picture of me without a beard. A lot of you guys haven't even seen that yet, so. There we go. There we go! Oh, it's that one! Oh, you can't even see if I have a beard or not. This picture, uh, is a picture taken in a car using a camera. It's a, what is that, a Nikon D60? I don't know, but I did have here. There's your, you see? <laughs> here is almost reversed, yep. I pulled it through my head. You know, I floss my head using the, the, the hair that I have. I can sort of pull it back and forth, depending on my mood. You know, it's a while ago, that. that that's gotta be, wait, 2008 or nine. It's a while ago, absolutely. My hair has dropped. God damn it. You're right. You're right. There you go. Uh, taken somewhere in Ireland. You know, weekend trip somewhere. Can't remember. <laughs> when you were a kid, you legitimately thought that's how beards work. I love it. I love it. Yeah, about 15 years ago, you're right. It's a while ago. I bet I did have hair. I used to have hair down to like here. You know? Like, way past my chest, even. At some point. The hair is connected inside the skull. It is, though. I could show you right now. But, uh, it's in the, uh, Twitch TOS. So I'm not really allowed to. So there you go. That's the throwback. We, I'll have a new picture ready every single day. See if you want to redeem it. There's a lot of pictures that are worse than that. Alright? I'll let you know right now. There are some... I mean, all of them are obviously fine for Twitch. That That's me. That's the wrong... Okay, well, I guess we're doing this now. I'm, I'm streaming from here now. This is, uh, this is what you get moving forward, right? Right, okay, so let's send this guest and we'll figure... Uh, fix this real quick. Back. There we go. Is that better? Don't let... Don't tell me. Which one do you prefer? I don't want to know. Do I? Kinda. A little bit. It's fine. All right. Sending my guest. This is gonna be southern Mexico, I'm pretty sure. Here. We. Go. Okay. Speaking of Hawaii. Not a single person got it. That's going to be the end of the streak. Rip absolutely everybody. But that explains it. That explains it. Well done. The great streak is reset. That streak goes to join other streaks up in streak heaven. Is that how it works? Probably. You know? Where they get to be happy and just keep building forever. It's a thing. Hawaiian pizza has spoken. Oh, you're right. The, you guys, that's on you guys, actually. You guys absolutely uh, cursed that entire run. But it's fine. Hawaiian pizza, I guess we'll have... You know what, just for that, I'll have Hawaiian pizza the next time I have, I have pizza. Just for that. Scout's honor. I was never even a scout. But either way, you know, pineapple pizza ruins everything. Even streaks. There you go. Yeah. But just because of that, I'm going to have to have Hawaiian pizza next time. That's how that works. That is how streaks work and how guessing works, I guess, as well. All right. I think that's going to do it for me for tonight, though. Today, actually. But it is. I have stuff. I have people coming over. So I need to get ready for that. Uh, I want to thank every single one of you again for hanging out. Please do stick around for the raid. We always do raids. Um, you know? Check! No! <laughs> Why? Why'd you gotta do this to me, Check? I miss you. <laughs> you know? It's always 11 moving forward in the weekends and around 3 to 4 in the uh, weekdays. That's my tentative schedule. I want to thank all of these beautiful people for joining up with us here today. And of course, Tomcat for the massive raid early on. Massive support to the channel. Um, today we are gonna go ahead and throw the party on over. Let me refresh this one. Do I have any, any of my people on? We kind of do. Huh. Here's a question though. Do this quickly. 
we are gonna throw the party on over to someone that we haven't raided yet before. Uh, we're gonna see Barcode Ben, I think. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. We're gonna do that. Um, yeah. Just, you know, let them know that, that I sent you and that you hope that they'll have a great day and all of that. You know, share the love. It's always fun to, uh, and the more people you join up, the better, because the bigger numbers, better fun, always. Same thing with raids, you know? Bigger numbers equals better time. That's how that works. The poll ending on Hawaii is such a crux troll. True. True. But that's something we just gotta have to live with. All right. I'm gonna uh, end it here. Uh, and I'll see you guys again probably tomorrow around like three or four. Um, you guys have a beautiful Sunday, all right? And I will end up seeing you uh, again then, I hope. Here is Barcode Ben with some more uh, GeoGuessr for you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.